Thanks for staying with us in Bill O'Reilly in the Hume Zone segment tonight. Sean Hannity versus Ted Koppel. For years, the former ABC News man, who now works for CBS in a freelance capacity, has decried, word of the day, decried the rise of cable news. A little more than a year ago, he came on The Factor. You have changed the television landscape over the past 20 years. You took it from being objective and dull to being subjective and entertaining. With all the things that you pointed out, it's a whole different ball game on cable TV. Commentators like me have just ruined the country. I, I cop to that. That's true. You all have. Right, right. I've ruined everything. Of course, I said that in jest, but Mr. Koppel believes it. He believes that TV commentary is overshadowing hard news reporting. Now, yesterday, Mr. Koppel talked with Sean Hannity and told Sean that his program was bad for America because it catered to ideology. And he replied that conservative commentary is legitimate and necessary because the mainstream national media is very biased to the left. Problem is the interview is heavily edited and Sean is now asking for a full unedited portion to be put up on the CBS News website. That sounds reasonable to me. Joining us now from Florida, Britt Hume. So here in the factor, if we edit an interview of significance, we post the unedited part on BillOReilly.com. Do you think CBS News should do that? I, I do. I can't see any reason not to do it. A lot of people would, int would be interested in it, and it would drive uh, uh, traffic to their website. So why not do it? It's easy to do, and it doesn't cost anything. Really, they have the transcript, one presumes. Yeah. So I mean, we why called them. We called them today, and a, and a former TV writer named Richard Huff now does their communications. And you know, he basically didn't want to talk too much about it. But you're right. Economically, it benefits CBS News to do it. Yeah. Uh, people would go. Seems and I an must say, call. if I have to go to a news uh, site, I go to cbsnews.com. I think it's a good news site. Um, it, and, you know, I mean, and I'm, I'm not saying that with any uh, promotional aspect, but they do a nice job on their website and they have the material. Why not post it? Why not let's see right. Hannity and Koppel in full flower? And if they don't, I'll put it on BillOReilly.com. They just sent it right over to me. I'll put it right up. Now, what is the resistance that you think? Because you work with Ted Koppel. I worked. I didn't work with him, but I, I was there when he was there. I was working for Peter Jennings most of the time. Um, he, and you and I made the transition to Fox News, all right? And I didn't have a hard time making the transition here. And you did a hard news program. Now, Brett Barrett took over from you. I don't, didn't see you have a hard time working for this outfit. But Koppel, guys like Tom Brokaw, they, they have a real tough time with it. What do you think that is? Well, it, they came along, I think. Look, I, I, I consider Ted Koppel a friend, and I've always admired him. And, and I would note, however, that he came up and came to prominence in an era when really all there was was the three network nightly news programs, the Sunday morning programs, and there was morning show, but that was mostly talk. And, and there was, uh, you know, later there was Nightline. That came relatively late in the history of TV news. But that was a, that was a sort of a news and interview show uh, late at night. Very successful. Uh, very good, actually. And that was the age in which he came along. And the, I think that's the era in which he is comfortable. And I can understand that. This is a different universe now. I mean, there, was, there, were, not, there were not three full-blown cable news channels at the time he was in his prime. Uh, and there wasn't the amount of airtime that they had. We now have, you know, news and talk all day long, uh, some you know, hard news programming at 6, and I would say also at 7 now. Sure. And then our evenings are but devoted to what, the what, was the op, what would be the, Look, the, the op-ed page yeah, of TV news. Changed. And he knows yeah, it. He's a smart guy. It's a new and I talked slowly when he was on, to, and I said the same thing to him. This is the op-ed page. <laughs> and when you have a 24-hour news cycle, I mean, you get plenty of time for everything. You guys only had a half hour and 20 minutes if you count commercials. I think the resistance right. is, I have to say, that most of the uh, standardized network news guys of the past were social liberals, not crazy left-wing bomb throwers, but social liberals, and they kind of resent the Fox News Channel's overwhelming success. Last word. Yeah, I think that's correct. I presume, therefore, that, that Ted finds the, the opinionated programming on MSNBC objectionable and also on CNN as well. There's just a lot more opinion programming out there than there used to be. And I can understand why veterans of hard news find that unsettling. But I still think that there's plenty of room for it. And Absolutely. we've proven that every day. Absolutely. Brit Hume, everybody from Florida. Water